What's up, everybody? We are back with the amazing Cabalette. Cabalette, how are you today? I'm doing amazing. How are you doing? I'm doing fan mother fantastic. I'm actually nice. excited mm -hmm. about this one. We're going to name off our top five best games of all time. So let's get to it. Here's how it's going to work. Or oh, you'll name your number five, and then I'm going to argue with you about it, and then I'll name my number five. And then you'll do your number four. I'll do my number four. We'll work all the way down to number one, which will be our favorite game of all time. Sounds good. Okay, so why don't you give us your number five? Okay, so my number five, and I know you're going to be very surprised. You got to remember, I like had those five on top of my head. If I think about it, I'll probably have some other title that come to my mind, but... One game I really played a lot, I really appreciated and cherished was Pokemon Stadium. On the N64 or? Yeah, this one. I keep the box. This one. You have the box? Do you have the original box? Yes. I have a loose copy. I call them Lucy's. I have a loose copy of that. Oh, really? Well, and that's your I, number five, huh? Mm. That is my number five. This is really, I played it for so long. The many games on it were amazing. Like, Everything was amazing about this game. I'm just so excited to think about it I, again. I feel a little bit like a scumbag. Ah, never mind. I thought a lot of my games on my list were like newer, but we got some oldies in there too. Oh, no, That's, I got uh, plenty of new games. Do you have the cartridge in that box as well? Or did you lose? Do you still have mm, the cartridge? It's not on this box, but I got it somewhere. That would not even, that would not be my top five, but that is a great pick. Pokemon Stadium. And just I like that you have the, the box nostalgia. right there. Well, yeah. don't worry. I got those too. My number five, actually, you, you may make fun of me for this. My number five, I put Overwatch, honestly. Oh, I think really? Overwatch is a fantastic is game. An amazing I, run. I've been playing Overwatch since it came out, and I still go back to it. I don't know. It's super addicting, and well, I got to I gotta give it credit team. for – Yeah, I got to give a credit for number five right there. So that's my number five is Overwatch. Your number five is Pokemon Stadium. All right? Give us your number four best game of all time, Cabalet. So again, that is a little nostalgia note before I go to most recent one, but I really, really loved Zelda, the Wind Waker, Wind Waker. I never know how to pronounce it in English. You're talking about the one on the GameCube with the cartoony <laughs> yes, graphics? Yes, yes, Okay. Yes. Another one that would not make my top five. We are in disagreement yeah. here. I wouldn't even make my top 10, to be honest. Well, to be honest, like it's, I rarely like play Nintendo games anymore, but I had just so many amazing memory on this. I played this like this Zelda, like I played it so many, many, many times. Like I really love it so much. And I just want it to be on Nintendo Switch right now. That's an important thing to pin out, uh, to point out that you were saying how nostalgia, you know, stuff from your childhood really counts for a lot. Of course, there's better games nowadays, probably than everything we're going to be mentioning here, but some memories that you have playing these games that are the most important. So I definitely understand that. And uh, my number four is actually one that gives me really great memories. That's Halo 2, the second Halo, which, I, yeah, Cabalet fucking hates Halo. Excuse my language. Like, she has a disdain toward Halo like okay. you've never seen before in your whole fucking life. This is ridiculous. No, there is something about Halo is that at some point I played it a lot, 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 lot. And the story mode, I liked it, but I hate the multiplayer, I don't know how anybody can play the multiplayer in Halo because that is a huge diarrhea, in my opinion. Well, she can't help it, ladies and gentlemen. She's ignorant, okay? She can't help it. She's just being fucking ignorant. But um, that's my number four. So we had Cabalette's number five was Pokemon Stadium. My number five was Overwatch. Your number four was The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker. Hashtag Tim Cabmom in comments, please. Uh, yeah, let's see who you agree with. My number four is Halo. So I got two first-person shooters as rounding up my top five. But let's go to number three. Cabla, what do you have in your my number three? My number three... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the old lady, my number three. <laughs> yeah, put on your glasses. My number three was Assassin's Creed 2. Assassin's really? Creed 2. I really, really had a lot of fun on full, it again. Full disagreement. I really? Well, I really like the story mode. I really liked Assassin's Creed the first, but the second got me more excited about it. And uh, well, then I didn't follow the long, you know, all the Assassin's Creed because then I felt like it was too repetitive, you know, it was constantly the same. It was not constantly the same thing, but, you know, that was kind of well, giving me this feeling, but I had really good memories of Assassin's Creed 2. 
I do too. Part two, I think, is definitely the best. Part one, like you said, was good. Part two improved upon it. When they started popping out Assassin's Creed every single year, mm -hmm. then it just got, that was too it much. did get repetitive. Just like Call of Duty, you get bored of it after a while. But I'd like to say that I was putting Assassin's Creed 2 on the same uh, stage as uh, Fable 2 because I had so much fun on Fable 2 as well. Fable 2 is another good one. I like it. All right. Very nice. Is there other? Okay. I'm just going to. I'll let you, I was going to ask you about your other two, but let's not jump ahead. No. So your number three is your number three is uh, Assassin's Creed. My number three was Super Smash Brothers Melee. Oh, that is on one. the GameCube. Good one. Yes, that's my number three best game of all time. I'm not really even in, that into fighting games that much. I mean, I do like Mortal Kombat and stuff. I like the typical fighting games, but I wouldn't really call myself an avid fan of fighting games super smash mm -hmm. brothers melee on the other hand i still think it's the best super smash brothers and one of the best games of all time for sure if i had to put a nintendo game though on the third uh, stage i kept saying stage um that would be mario kart was it double dash the one where you were able to switch and you were playing in co-op and so i was playing with my big brother and i was jumping to the front seat and he was jumping to the back and throwing bananas i think that was mario kart double dash and that was so much fun that's a good one well your first two were nintendo games your five and your four yeah my, my last really yeah well i'm just yeah you like let me ask you this you like mario kart better than super smash brothers melee I put them on the same uh, same stuff. I, not Mario Kart, just Mario Kart, but the Mario Kart Double Dash. I had too many good memories. Mario Kart series versus Super Smash Brothers. Oh, uh, Super Smash. Okay, good. Just checking. Just checking. <laughs> all right, we're moving down to number two. What is your number two most favorite game of all time? My number two. This is again a solo game. Uh, the Witcher Three. That's my number two as well. Oh, that's it. <laughs> I was actually, I, when you mentioned Assassin's Creed 2, I was going to ask you if you had The Witcher 3 on your list because there's no way oh, you're going to sit there okay. and tell me that the Assassin's Creed 2 is better than The Witcher yeah, 3. No. I don't care. I know they're years apart, but still. Mm -hmm. No, The Witcher 3 was such an amazing game. And if you haven't played it, if you're watching this and you haven't played it, you're missing out big time. It's an experience, and I have all, I have like the action figures. I, I bought the books. I read the books. I'm a complete Witcher nerd. I played through that game. <laughs> It's an over a hundred hour game. I probably played it four times from start to finish. And one it was thing, great every time. One thing we disagree on though, is that I'm Tim Yennefer is Tim Truss. I'm not going to say anything about Yennefer. I think she's very not. Well, actually, no, I'm going to take that back. She's not nice. She's mean. Triss is the way to go. Okay. And that's final. All right. We so we see. agree. We Demon. <laughs> I could guarantee too. my number one, you do not have on your list, but, um, that's the only one that we agree that we had the same one on each of our list. And not only that, we had them in the same spot on our list, number two. So The Witcher 3 is something we could agree upon. What's our so, number one? Well, I'm going to, we're going by rotation and you oh. go first. I go first. All right. So my number one, I know a lot of you aren't going to be surprised, but Titanfall 2. That's not a surprise, actually. <laughs> well, That's actually, and I actually, I could support that. I could support that. The story mode is amazing. The multiplayer is the best I ever played, and I am a giant FPS fan. Such a good fucking multiplayer game. Like, I agree. I if get you have so not, much fun. The movement system is unique on it. I agree 100%. And actually, it's pretty cheap now. If you didn't have missed out on Titanfall 2, because it did come out when other games were coming out, Battlefield 1 and the new Call of Duty that year, they all came out within the same week, and I think people kind of brushed past Titanfall 2. Out of those three games... Titanfall 2, I really think, is by far the best out yeah, of those three. So. The best of the best. Even we got disconnected, I think. I'm not sure. Stand by. Okay, I'm you back You got again. disconnected. Very nice. I saw that. Did you saw me disconnect? I did not even stop the video. I think we're just going to keep that in because you made okay. a funny face when you were leaving. <laughs> but yeah, you were saying Titanfall 2 is fan mother effing fantastic. I agree. If you get a chance to play it, play it. It's a fantastic game. So that's your number one is Titanfall 2. Just a little note to add on that. Like even like the movement system they were using in the game got copied then by the Call of Duty. Yeah, stuff. they definitely copied the wall them. Running and stuff. Titanfall, we actually had this discussion the other day with your brother. It's like an action movie. It's a complete action movie. There's action all the time. If you look at your highlights from any other game, 
every single game that you play of Titanfall 2, there's a highlight in there. Actually, the whole thing's a highlight. Like, you're diving from mech, you're freaking shooting in the air. It you're is. doing all this stuff. It's a crazy action movie. And if you have never I got played stars it, stars in my eyes. Just yeah, do looking. yourself a favor right now and play Titanfall 2 because yeah, it's a freaking it. amazing game. All right, now I got my number one here. That's this is a great list. Honestly, I'm having fun with this, and I'm gonna say this. I don't want you to. Uh, I don't want you to hate me. It's gonna but be Halo. I get, no, it's not gonna be Halo. No, I, I had my Halo. That was number four. Halo two. My number one is Resident Evil two, the original oh. Resident Evil two on the original PlayStation. And just like you said about Pokemon Stadium and and the Wind Waker. I I know there's obviously if you went back to play Resident Evil two on the PlayStation one today you probably wouldn't have that great of a time. But it's pretty much what my, what, what, what my childhood was all about. So I get, uh, I just remember really good memories where they get in on Christmas. That was one of the first games I got on the PlayStation. And on it Christmas, was a great time. you got to Resident Evil 2. <laughs> Actually, I got Resident Evil 1. I got the PlayStation and my mom got me Resident Evil 1 or Santa got me. Resident oh Evil 1, God. Santa Claus got me Resident Evil 1, the director's cut, and Resident Evil 2 came out later. So I just have really fond memories of, especially the first two Resident Evils, but Resident Evil 2 is such a good sequel. Improves upon everything the original had. And uh, I love it. I love it. Hey, darling, get this nice old game where people are getting chopped and eaten. And you wonder why I'm, I'm so messed up in the head nowadays, you know? <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Anyway, I think that was pretty good. I think we should do another one of these uh, top fives. And if you guys have a top five or what's your, what's your favorite game, put it in the comments. I'd love we to want know. to hear it. Do you agree yeah. with our lists? Probably not, but... I think these are all, every game we mentioned today, they were solid. They were solid. I don't know if I put them in the top five for you, but, you know, Assassin's Creed 2. Well, too. Diallo was kind of disappointing, but. Well, you know. Excuse me. <laughs> Halo 2 paved the way for multiplayer games on console, bro. Grow up. You beat ignorant. Anyway, Cabalet, it was nice talking to you today. Where could we find you on social media, Cabalet? You got a Twitch channel too, right? You can find me on Twitter, on Twitch, with the same username, Cabalette, except that on Twitch I get a little underscore. Don't ask me why, that's a long story. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Beautiful. And all over the place, Facebook, Instagram, but Twitter and Twitch are my main platform. Beautiful. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I always forget to say that at the end of the videos. Do it. Don't hit the thumbs down button because that, that's not good. Do but it. Like, up. comment, Hold yeah. Your face. Yeah. Listen to Cabalette. She will, she's me. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. See you guys.